I recently went shopping on the clearance rack and found this beautiful lace dress. And as I was admiring the price tag, I realized there was a big area of damage on the actual garment itself. You can see this gap, these holes here where the lace is broken apart. And this would seem nearly impossible to bring together without getting out the hand sewing needle. If you're hand sewing needle resistant, you're going to love how I can sew using the octi hoops. We're going to go ahead and use our stick and tear stabilizer on the back of the frame even though we don't want to have this white stabilizer showing on the back of the dress when we're finished. And this is a permanent stabilizer. So what you're going to do before you begin is choose which of the three octi hoops is best for the size of the damage to the garment. And in this case, the area is best suited for the medium frame. I'm going to go ahead and get the hoop ready. I'm going to do so by taking the stick and tear stabilizer that comes in rolls and lay the octa hoop onto the stick and tear. Then we take and we're going to trace around the hoop. And then using your paper scissors, we'll go ahead and cut. Now with the shape cut to the frame size, we're going to go ahead and peel off this release liner. Go ahead and press this to the frame. Rub it to secure it to one side of the eight sides on the octagon shape frame and then pull it up. Now this will be loose until we make it taut. To do so, we just stretch and keep stretching and tightening. Go from one side, now flip it all the way over to the opposite side. Next section, rub it. And as I'm doing this, I'm pulling it and making it really tight. And at some point, you're going to be able to tap on it and it sounds like a drum. When it is like that and you don't see any wrinkles around the perimeter of the inside of the frame, and I do see some here, so I'm going to do one more stretch here. So with no more wrinkles around the inside of the frame, I'm now ready to cut a window in this, making sure that it's big enough for the area that was damaged. Now we're going to go ahead and lay the material down so that the damaged area is within the opening. And the idea here is to make sure that the material is pulled taut to the sides without stretching it too much. Because you don't want to distort the lace, as this is a stretch lace dress. Now as we sew, we're going to be bringing the material back together. So you want to make sure it has enough slack to be able to come together by you pinching on it like that. Another important thing is that we're going to use a thread that also stretches. This is a 100% nylon lingerie thread and its purpose is for stretchy materials just as lingerie is stretchy. However, you can also use this for many other purposes. Since this dress is actually a stretch lace material, we want to make sure that we actually use a thread that will also stretch. So if your thread is lingerie thread and it says 100% nylon, then that is the correct thread. And yes, you're going to use it in both the needle and the bobbin. Before beginning, we'll go ahead and remove the presser foot. Is the presser foot even if you use a free motion foot, it can be tapping and causing the material to stretch. Now we're going to go ahead and bring the needle or the bobbin thread up through the material. And find the hole that is most comfortable for you to hold on to. Make sure your hand is actually resting on the, on the sewing machine so that you're not 
using or lifting your elbows up in the air because holding our elbows up in the air causes that muscle strain between your shoulder blades. We're going to go ahead and decrease the thread tension by one full tension. So if your tension is normal at five, go to four. If it's four, go to three. And then sew a little bit in we're just using a straight stitch. Now you can see my feed dogs are going up and down inside the area. I'm going to go ahead and lower the feed dogs. If you can't lower your feed dogs, it still will work. And we'll go ahead and we start to bring the material back together by going across and I do stitch over about a sixteenth of an inch, come back over, stitch to the right, come across the opening, stitch over, and you can see that I'm actually joining the material back together. It's almost like magic. And basically this would be considered similar to darning, which is where the darning foot got its name. See how quickly you can restore any lacy item that you may have in your closet. And it's good to do small stitches as you're coming across so that they're not as visible. Another wonderful quality about the lingerie thread is that it tends to disappear in the material so you can't even see that thread after you're done. I'm going to go ahead now. I can see that I have cl closed up this entire area here and I need to move the material over to finish up over here. So all you do is lift the fabric up and slide it over since we didn't actually hoop this material, you have the ability to just kind of move it over and then reapply the lace to the white stabilizer. Okay, once again, we want to bring our bobbin thread up to the top. And then you're going to go ahead and sew a few stitches. and then cut that bobbin thread away so that you don't doesn't distract you as you're sewing. And then holding on to the handle, go ahead and sew across the hole. Come down, go back over, come down, go back over, come down, go back over. And here I'm doing, because this is a, a larger part of the lace where it has a zigzaggy appearance, I'm going, instead of switching to my zigzag stitch, I'm simply moving my hoop in a zigzag manner to, to uh, mend the zigzag stitch area and make it blend in nicer. So a few stitches in place and you've tied a knot, cut your thread, and you have fixed that damaged area. Oh, and we've, now I see there's another damaged area. And this is a good, uh, good time to check the entire garment to make sure you haven't missed any. There we go, one more time. I think it's just fascinating to watch the material come back together. lay the dress out and see if we can find any more damaged sections. And it's really pretty much 
not visible. I wonder if I can even find the area that I repaired to show you it. So let's see. I did repair the area right here. So you can see how you can't even tell that it was ever damaged. And now we have a dress that would have cost twice as much and should it ever tear from normal use, you know, you can fix it again. I hope you enjoyed this segment of On The Mend. I look forward to bringing you more mending projects in the future.